Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel Colton of RNC. For today's project, I'm going to be showing you how to make a diamond pattern macrame keychain that incorporates beads. For this project, I've teamed up with this awesome company from the UK called El Camino. El Camino sells travel beads, which they call steps, to commemorate the different places that you've traveled across the globe. So I'm going to be using some of their custom steps to commemorate my wedding anniversary and my children's birth dates. I'm also going to be using some of their wooden spacer beads. You can find their products at ElCaminoBracelets.com, which I will link in the description. In addition to your beads or your steps, you're also going to need some type of keychain clasp. I'm going to be using the kind that you attach a ring to the bottom. You could also use what's called a lobster swivel clasp. You're also going to need some string or rope. I'm gonna be using a three millimeter two ply rope from modernmacrame.com, which I will also link in the description. You're also going to want some painter's tape or masking tape and a sharp pair of scissors. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is cut three pieces of rope to about 40 inches, which is the same as 102 centimeters. We're going to attach each of these three ropes to our key ring using what's called a lark's head knot. To form a lark's head knot, take the two loose ends of your rope and line those up. Then find your way to the center of your rope, which will now have a loop. Take the loop back through your key ring and pull down a bit. Then take your two loose ends back through that loop pull them all the way through, then pull down to tighten them. Now repeat this with your remaining two strings. Once again, take your two loose ends and line those up, then find your way to the center of your rope, which will be looped. Take that loop back through your key ring, pull down a bit in the back, then feed your loose ends through and pull tight. To begin the design, you need to find the third string over from the right. This will come across at a diagonal and will be our filler string. The three strings over to the left will be forming our knots. Pick up the next string to the left, which is situated behind your filler string. Cross it over in front. Take it around behind and through the loop. Then pull down and tighten to the top. Now repeat, your working string is over to the right now. Cross it over in front, around behind, through the loop, pull down, and pull tight. We're gonna repeat that with the next string. Right now it's situated behind your filler string, so cross it over in front, around behind, through the loop, pull down, pull tight and repeat cross in front around behind through the loop pull down and tighten and repeat that with this final string to the left next we're going to form the right hand side of this diamond so we need to again pick up the third string from the right this will come across at a diagonal and these other two strings will form diagonal clove hitch knots Take the next string over, cross it in front, take it around behind, through the loop, pull down, and then pull tight to meet the others. Now repeat, cross in front, around behind, through the loop, pull down, and tighten. And now repeat that with the next string over. Now that we form the top portion of our first diamond, we're ready to add our beads or steps. Find your center two strings and you'll find that they're beginning to fray on the ends. So what you want to do is wrap the ends of these in one layer of painter's tape or masking tape and cut off that fringe. Once you have your ends wrapped tightly with masking tape or painter's tape, you're ready to string your first bead or step. I'm going to be using a custom step I had created by El Camino with my name and my husband's name and our wedding anniversary. 
So just go one rope at a time and hold that first one tight to the side so that you have space to get your other string through. And then feed that bead up to the top. I'm also going to be adding a wooden spacer bead. So once you have your bead or your step, we are going to close this first diamond and we'll lead into our second diamond. Pick up your leftmost string. This will come across at a diagonal toward the center. Pick up the next string over toward the right. Cross it over in front, around behind and through. Pull down and pull tight and then repeat. Now do the same thing with the next string over toward the right. Once you reach the center point, pick up your rightmost string. This will come across at a diagonal. We'll work toward the center and we'll continue all the way across to begin our next diamond. To form the other side of this diamond, you once again need to find the third string over from the right. This will come across at a diagonal and the other two to the right will form your knots. At this point, you're ready to string your next bead or steps and the same two strings will always remain in the center. So you only need to do your taping once. For my next set of beads, I'm gonna use another custom step I had created with my son's name and birthday. So I'm just going to go one rope at a time. And I'm going to add another wooden spacer bead. From here, we're going to do the same thing we did with that first diamond. We're going to take our leftmost string across and we're going to form knots with the next two over till we reach the center. Then you'll pick up the rightmost string and come all the way across. To complete the right top side of this last diamond. Once again, find that third string over from the right and form your diagonal clove hitch knots with the other two strings over toward the right. Now I'm going to add my final set of steps with my daughter's name and birth date. To close this final diamond, you wanna take your leftmost string to center Then you wanna pick up your rightmost string and bring that to the center. And this time, instead of going all the way across, you're just gonna do one final knot in the center to close this diamond. The next thing we're going to do is form a gathering knot at the bottom. So you're going to need another piece of string that you've cut to about two feet or 61 centimeters. And I like to work from the back, so I'm going to flip this around. To form the gathering knot, you want to take all your loose ends and hold them together. Then take this additional piece of string and line it up parallel with your design. You want to leave about an inch or an inch and a half sticking up over the bottom of that last diamond. Now you want to drop down with that string about three or four inches and create a loop. Hold on to all this with your thumb. Take that long end and you're going to start wrapping it around all the strings starting at the bottom of that final diamond and you want to wrap it fairly tightly at least five or six times around. Once you've wrapped it five or six times you need to find that loop Take that loose end through the loop, and then you wanna just hold on to it lightly at the bottom. And now you're gonna take this loose end at the top and you're going to pull up. That will pull on the loop and the loop will pull on the other loose end and bring it into those gathers. Once you see that it's reached the center, take both loose ends and pull on them to tighten that knot. 
Then take a sharp pair of scissors and you're gonna cut off this loose end at the top as close to the knot as you can. The bottom one is long enough that we can incorporate it into the fringe at the bottom of our keychain. Your final step is to gather up all the loose ends, take a sharp pair of scissors, and you're just going to cut straight across about an inch or so down from the gathering knot. So here is our finished product, and I now have a keychain that has a commemoration of my family with my husband and my children and the important dates in our lives. I can attach this to my keys or my purse or my diaper bag and carry them with me wherever I go. I hope that you enjoyed this project and that you'll give it a try. Please check out El Camino at elcaminobracelets.com. Thank you and subscribe.